Mafia, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what up, dope gang? How y'all feeling this thing? Welcome, welcome back to So Kiki, y'all. Let me lift the camera up so y'all can see these bags, child. But it's all good because I'm here working. Because I'm in here working. Sad shit. <laughs> But no, y'all, I'm about to go get a haircut and see you. I just wanted to just start this blizzog. My TV was well, that's why I'm not that simple. But I want to start this blizzog um, and show y'all these pants that I'm be wearing to my little cousin's pre-birthday party Wednesday. Um, I got the fabric from uh, the thrift store. So if y'all seen my last vlog, um, my sister and I thought this would be a cute um, thing. She first thought it was going to be a cute thing for trending. Um, to copy the trend in pants. Oh, why can I not talk? I don't like that. But, um, yeah. So I'm gonna make these pants, see how they come out, and I'm gonna wear them. It's bye. But welcome to Vlogmas number 11. Wow, not the double digits. Not the double digits. Get at your girl. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> But um, yeah, welcome to vloggers number six, 11. Lord, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? <laughs> ah, let's get this vlog started, y'all. Welcome or welcome back. This intro is all over the place and this is not normally how we act. We're gonna start this vlog. Let me show y'all, let me show y'all the pad. So this is the fabric we're working with. It's a quilt that we got. I'm going to work with this side. This is technically the wrong side. But the prints still come out over here. And this is get this 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 looks like a sewing machine. We're gonna see what it is on the other side though. But it's just like a sewing machine, a heart, you know, and it's you can still it's still visible from the side. And this is what I'm liking. And then the little fringes. I'm trying to figure out if I want those on the side, like some chops. I'ma figure it out, I'ma redesign it in my head. But I like this side. However, this is the right side according to them. It's like a calendar, hold on. Okay, it looked like I was wrong. Oh no, there's the heart, I was right. Okay, yes, it's definitely a calendar. <laughs> But it's cool. I ain't, they ain't gonna see this side, so. Where's my birthday going? Where's my birthday right here? All right. Okay, take my that. Don't put no dang flag up here. Oh. I'm gonna copy a pair of pads. So this will be another one where I'm copying, um, copying the piece of clothing instead of using my uh, patterns. But that's fine because I don't think I made a pattern piece for these. So, let's go. So, we have the pantalones. We have the front piece. We have the back piece. We have the waistband. Can I see it? Yeah. 
and we have the back pocket i want to make it like a little bucket pocket and look it says december so i'm gonna use a december patch and paste it on the back so it could be visible isn't that isn't that wonderful <laughs> But look, we have that, that. Oh, I need to make the um the side pocket. I totally forgot. And so I do have one more little perfect patch left, and I love that. It's November and October. So I have these little teeny pieces of chalk, y'all. But really, like I said in the other one, just make sure it's room by your wrist so you can insert your hand. I open my fingers so it can be as like deep as possible. And you're just making an oval shape. Period. So now I have the side pockets the waistband, the bucket pocket for the back, the back, and the front. So let's get it in. The first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and sew, sew it, the crotch part up. And this is because we're not making one with the flap on it. So it can close up and it'll be easier. So I'll be back. All right, y'all. So now we have the front two crotch sewn up. So you have this piece and then you have that piece. Bang, bang. Now you can open it to the right side. Oh, it's so cute already. And yes, I still did choose to do this side instead of um, this side. You know, this side is a little more Christmassy. I'm gonna do a little Chris some Christmas pouches. So it's still very really cute, I think. Right? Right? <laughs> then. <laughs> We're going to add the pocket. So don't be like me and forget your uh, stick pins. Go on and get the stick pins before you uh, get down there. You know what I'm saying? And you might need some knee pads if you're doing it like me too on the gray. All right, so what I like to do is kind of measure it. I measure four inches down, put the right sides together. And it's the inside pocket, so you really ain't gonna see it, but do right, do right. So I pin it at the four inches. Come on this side. Lord, at the full inch mark. Shibuya, shibuya. And then you want to do the same thing for the back piece. Can y'all see the back of the way? Where my piece go? Oh yeah. So all right, y'all. When y'all get to once y'all get to this part. Go ahead and top stitch it because you're um, supposed to have put it on right sides together. So when you turn it over, you're gonna iron this part down. And so you can easily flip it and then you'll go ahead and top stitch it. Okay? Okay. Alright, so I decided to put, I wanna put pleat in the front. I wanna kind of little elevate it a little bit. So in order for me to do that, well, let me show y'all. Um, actually, this is it after it's been top stitched. So just a little, it's like, y'all know what it is. Do the bit across the top to give it that finished look type situation. But now I want to make a pleat in the front area, like here. So I'm just going to fold that in half, one leg in half to the crotch. And I'm going to iron it down so it can have an arm. Um, uh, a crease in it so it'll be easy for me to sew and I'm gonna do the exact same thing for this so these are the <laughs> these are the darts I hope y'all can see them it's just right down the middle and on the wrong side it should look like this all the way down the leg the pleats all right so now we're gonna keep it on the right side we have our pockets installed we have our um, decorative front um, pleat now we're gonna do the back. Now these do have tassels on the side and I'm still debating. Let me move you to the side. Excuse me, booty booty. These do have tassels 
on the side and I'm kind of low-key debating if I want to give them. I'm going to put two little darts in the front so we're going to use the same method um, like this. But we're only going to go down maybe an inch and a half. We're going to go two inches. So you can pin it where you want to stop at on both sides. Make sure you iron it so it can be an easier transition and sewing on it. When the pins fall out, you'd be like, the world is over. All right, so we done did that. I wonder if I should have made it a little thicker. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to now place uh, the right sides together. Get out of here, but oh, are yeah, tweaking? <laughs> Where's the other pocket? Then we're going to get up here. Hey, y'all, y'all got to bear with me. Well, I got to bear with myself because I done forgot to put the uh, two back pockets on here. I have one. I, I'm about to make a random um, pocket piece out of this for the sake of this video. So, I'll be back. Anyway, so I'm lining everything up. Um, the crotch is together. That's the main point. The important part that you want to do together. I like to put two rulers right here. to ensure that bad boy is laying down. All right, y'all, we back. I had to uh, borrow this piece from another piece of fabric <laughs> to make this pocket. That's just so geeky. <laughs> but anyway, we back. Ain't nothing gonna stop it, you know what I'm saying? And that part you ain't gonna really see anyway, so do what you gotta do. So now, finally, we coming down to the end, y'all. It's a little process because of the detailed stuff. Some of this, I guess you can skip out on, but why would you want to if you really going to wear the pants? You want it to look good. So these are already um, top stitched on the wrong side, on the right side. Um, now we're about to line everything up. So we're going to line the pocket. It should be real easy once you do, because once you do the same thing to the back, you do to the front. Um, so as we put these long um, pleats, which made darts as well, we put a little shorter ones in the back. Just got the waistband and the back well pocket to do. And that's going to finish the top part. And then down here, well, August and August, <laughs> August and July here, we're going to cut it down here. I left a little split part, you know, so it can fold over my shoes or whatever. But we're going to cut that so it can be even. But, y'all, we almost done. Make sure you iron these seams. You see how puffy they are? You want that clean, finished look. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just came out the package. But yeah. I'm about to actually head to my appointment, y'all. So, this just took a turn. This just took a turn. Uh, I'm about to head to my appointment, though, y'all. Um, I need to grab something quick to eat. And then I'll be back. And then we'll finish these pantalones. But, welcome to So Kiki, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because we in this thing. Sweet and yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not playing. We're not playing. We're we not playing. We're dressing to kill with guys and dressing to impress for ourselves because you got to receive love and spread love because it's the cure. Believe it. And I know I'm saying it in the middle of the video, but still believe that thing. Hey, hey, <laughs> these things are guarded already. <sighs> Which I think the waistband bang go on, so if we're in it like that, I can't see it as near. What y'all 
thank you. What y'all need? Perfect, man. Perfect, man. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. All right, y'all. So, we about to do is measure our elastic. This is two inch of elastic. So if you need to cut it down, you can. I made my waistband to be two inches. So yeah, I made it to be two and a half for that seam allowance. But before we, uh, we're gonna measure the elastic out, put it like that. Look at these bad boys, they look nice and they nice size. I'm excited. So before it's time for me to go, we're going to start working on this waistband. Um, you're going to sew it down. You're going to fold it in half and you're going to sew it down right here across the top. All right, bet y'all switch. Y'all heard me over there hammering together. <laughs> so bam, you have this. That's what it's supposed to be looking like. And you're going to use the right sides together. So this is the right side of fabric. And again, the right side is the side that you want to be seen. It's hitting all the seams. You're gonna find the end point of this. I like to put mine in the back. So I'm gonna drop it like that. We're gonna line it up like this. And we're gonna pin all the way around. Pin all the way around. It's so satisfying when it just fits perfectly. I want to add my logo. Suit it off yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just wanna say even that inside looks heck of good oh my goodness it looks so good like that's crazy ah i wish i would have made it reversible but i put the pockets on it but that's cool that's cool that's cool all right y'all so i'm still trying to catch every little minute i have before my appointment and it's kind of and it's like 10 minutes away so i ain't really got rush but looking at the wrong side what we what i did is was um i ironed up pressed up the seam allowance on the waistband towards uh, the top part and then I flipped it over so now it's hitting and I lined up the edge of this with this three um, with the seam right here so now that when we um, stitch it down we'll stitch right on top of it so on the other side you won't see it so this is the right side and this is why it's good to press up your seam so it don't be bulging right here you don't want that type of look um, before you uh, sew all the way around, you will make a, um, you'll have a stopping point. So this is my stopping point right here in between these two. Um, I normally do an X. I'm gonna do an X so I can show y'all. So there it is with the, um, the pins. And I'm doing that so I can leave open so I can insert the um, elastic and be have, and have a way to uh, take it out as well. All right, see the mafia, this is what the fit is. You already know. Suited down to the head, to the toe. Say suited by me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that. 
but you dig, you dig, you dig. It's a custom jacket, so you can't find this one on the site, but like, I don't know if I turn it around. I don't know, but we got Milan, Paris, London, all of them on there. About to go get this haircut. So I see y'all back right here in a minute. Oh, gosh. Yes, you. Ooh, stuff. Thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Right, I'll see y'all when I get back in the house. I just had to come to you. Same, same trip, same trip. Just back home with the fresh gut. But y'all, let's get back into this vlog. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mafia. It's so much happening. So much happening. Right now, um... In a sense of, I can't get, I can't find nothing to put this in, y'all. Y'all, we at the point where we just inserting this. I'm not going to hold you guys. It's taking me so long to do a lot of stuff because, like I said earlier in this vlog, I'm going through it, y'all. I'm going through it. Um, I think I'm very much so depressed. This is the first time I'm saying it out loud, but I think I'm so much depressed, y'all. The holiday season coming up, um... It's just a lot. It's just a lot. I miss my mama. My dog, baby. Just overwhelming. And now I can't find a... See? Brain just be going dead. Thing for something to insert the lace so we can finish this video. So we can finish this video. Y'all, welcome to So Kiki. You dig, like... Fun and fashion and everything in between. This is the end. This is the end. This is the end. Like, there's nothing else to do to it, y'all, other than try it on and da-da-da. And I just need to insert it. And it's not... I need one bigger than this so I can feed it all the way through. Head aching. It's like, bow. Bow, bow. So if y'all made it to the, this far in this video, honestly, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Because y'all vibe with me. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um... Make sure y'all comment. I want to talk to y'all. Like, what y'all thinking? What's bringing you back? What's not bringing you back? You know what I'm saying? I want to know all that, all that. But let me be great for these fans. And I'm going to get back to y'all with the finished product. And at this point, you really don't need me anyway. So, because if you're here, feed that thing through. It should, once you do that, it should, that, um, it should essentially look like this. But on the inside, you'll sew that part down. And then close that bad boy back up. And that's that. So I get to y'all, back to y'all when it's finished. And tell them people so the mafia's in these streets. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, I meant, I meant, I meant in these YouTube streets. You know what I mean? Like, we come in in these YouTube streets. Okay. Bye. You want to see? Let's see. Oh. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys made some pants too, like this. <laughs> but nah, y'all. Thanks for being here. Tell these people that Sudo Mafia in these YouTube streets, man. Tell them come kick it, sit it, so with key. Yeah. Remember to spread love and receive love. Cause it's the girl. Believe it. We out, y'all.